All righty, let's jump into our weekly trade recap for the week ending June 2nd, 2023. A uh, good week uh, for us overall, another positive green week, uh, up $1,740 for the week. Before I jump into trades, let's uh, take a quick look at the markets here, and uh, I'll share my uh, share my screen. Let's take a quick look at where the markets uh, are. Uh, we finished the day up uh, over 61 points here on the uh, SPX. You can see this little yellow mark up here is the three ATR range. So we're starting to bump right up against that, getting a bit over bought here on the market. So if we break through there on Monday or, and or Tuesday, uh, I'll probably be looking to put some kind of a credit spread on the call side or something along that line there. We still could have some upside to go. MACD still looks strong. Stochastic momentum pointing up. Squeeze really hasn't even fired yet. So uh, even though the positive momentum is there and on the weekly side of the charts too, uh, still looks strong. Uh, so we we have some upside to go. Uh, I think we'll take a, a look at this 4313 here, which is the 618 fib from that, uh, again, the kind of the uh, January highs all the way down here to the um, October lows of last year. So if we retrace that 618, let's see if we uh, if we stop there or if we keep going. Uh, on SPX, uh, on the day, if we take a look uh, also at the different sectors, the XLK was up only a half a percentage. It was not a tech-fueled rally uh, by any stretch here uh, on there. It was really fueled by a lot of the other sectors. So tech was only up about half a percent. Now, XLY was up significantly because both Amazon and Tesla were the two tech names that were up. Uh, substantially. So it was a 1.2% uh, update for Amazon and uh, Tesla up 3.11%. So up 3%. Those two up pretty large, but you had NVIDIA down, Netflix down. Uh, you had Apple up only a half a percent, Microsoft up just a tad, Google up 0.7%. Uh, Meta was flat on the day. So really just had two tech stocks, but uh, as far as the XLK goes, not a big update. XLY, uh, a pretty styled update because of Amazon, Tesla being the two there. But if we look at financials, financials had a pretty strong day uh, here. So we're, uh, you know, if financials and energy join into this rally, you got some legs to it. Uh, so financials up two and a half, you know, two point one eight percent today, uh, with a PSR reversal signal on the day. So good solid financials. And then on the energy sector, we're close to a reversal there uh, coming off of the oversold level. So uh, you had XLE and the XLF both kicking in pretty strongly. Um, then as we start to get into uh, some of the healthcare sectors, pharma sectors uh, in here, uh, those all had good days uh, today. So uh, pharma is a really interesting look here. I think for next week, I've got lots of plays we're looking at from AbV to others uh, that have really gotten into that over oversold area, not only past the three ATR uh, down here, uh, but on you know MACD squeeze and stochastic momentum. So uh, that's enough about the markets uh, today. Let's jump back into our weekly trades. Um, so again, uh, good update today, $1,740 to the plus side uh, for us. Um, jump into some trades. So trades that closed today, uh, we had a kind of a, we had a good day, but we uh, took a few losses as well. Uh, what we had a great day of was our weekly leap puts that we do in SPY every Monday. Three of those closed today. So you got the first one here, uh, which was the uh, 325 March 28 put that we put on on the 17th of April, 46 days in this trade to hit our 30% target, 6.6% uh, return on margin, $216 winner. Next one here was the th another 325 put. This one we put on on May 8th, got out of this in 25 days for a 30% winner, 6.6% uh, return on margin, another 213 bucks. So uh, two nice trades right there, for a little over $400 between the two. Uh, loss on the day was a covered call on our Amazon synthetic long uh, position. 
Uh, I'm okay with these covered calls taking losses because Amazon ran up today on a pretty solid day. Yeah, we took a $720 loss uh, on this overall, but the underlying ran up almost $1,000 uh, in the same time period. So uh, more than made up for, for that. And we'll just keep selling these covered calls on this. At some point, they'll pay off a little bit more. In fact, the covered call we already put on for next week is already up $100 uh, on that. So if Amazon keeps climbing, we'll we'll keep selling against it uh, as we go. If not, we'll just let that underlying up. I think we're up over $7,300 on that trade in just two months uh, already. Uh, another spy leap put closed today, uh, the 330. Uh, we put this one on on May 1st and uh, you can close that today. 30% winner, 6.5% return on margin. These are pretty consistent um, winners uh, over time here, another $215 to the good. Um, and then we did have a SPX hedge as a put butterfly that we put on the 4050, 4080, 4110 put butterfly. Uh, we've opened this as a hedge. Uh, it says I know it says a positive 240, but it was actually a negative $240 uh, on this particular trade. Change that real quick. Um, so negative 240 on this trade. It's all good. It's a hedge. Hedges are like buying insurance. You expect those to not be used. I'm okay uh, with taking some losses on that trade. We're going to get more. We talked about hedging this week in uh, one of our posts. Going to talk a little bit more about how I size hedging hedges next week. Um, and then again, $1,740 to the good. Uh, other trades this week. Uh, yesterday, we had a winner in Boeing on a put spread. We also had a spy leap put close yesterday as well uh, for $205. Bucks. Uh, day before, a ES strangle for $600. And a gold strangle for 570. Those are our weekly strangle trades that we put our, our strangle trades we put on weekly, but we do them out at 90 days. Those closed on the 31st. Did take a small loss on a Microsoft put butterfly that got uh, jammed up because of the NVIDIA uh, rally that uh, was caused. Uh, we also had a Aussie dollar strangle close for $400 uh, as well, 30 days in trade. Uh, this week as well. And then uh, another spy leap put this week uh, closed on the 30th. So a couple of days ago, 206 bucks on that trade uh, in 57 days, another 30% winner, six and a half percent return on margin for that trade. We also had a 320 strike leap put uh, closed this week. So a lot of these leap puts closed uh, this week. It's all good. We'll, we'll take them all. Uh, 222 bucks on that particular one. Uh, we did lose on a Tesla put butterfly again. Same thing as that Microsoft trade uh, was looking good until the NVIDIA earnings. Um, and we had an Amazon strangle that we had to take off because uh, that uh, Amazon's run up so significantly. So a couple of losses on Amazon because of the, um, the uh, significant rally that it's uh, undertaken. It's gone up uh, 20 some odd points in just a, a couple weeks. So uh, we'll take it. We own uh, a lot of contracts of the underlying and a synthetic long uh, position. Uh, we also had a $326 on a rut tiered butterfly uh, as well on the 30th and a CL strangle or CL 112 closed as well on the 30th for $550 winner uh, oil. Uh, playing right into it for us. Uh, so a pretty good return on that one, 157% return overall. Uh, and again, now was another one of those put butterflies that uh, got caught up in that whole NVIDIA reversing. Now, though, again, looks really, really toppy. Might be an opportunity to play next week. We might put on a call credit spread instead of a butterfly for next week. So... Um, last one here, I believe last one, is uh, a CL strangle that also closed on Monday, 380 bucks on that trade. So again, overall, $1,740 to the good on that trade, uh, doing really well. Uh, so 1740 this week, we are up, up 1554 last week. We did end, as I did the monthly recap, uh, we did end May up 9,343 bucks, about 3.5% 
uh, return on the month. All good, right within or a little bit ahead of our, our projections. We're already on the move uh, for the month of June already with some nice winners. So there's our recap for the day. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your weekend, and we'll see you all in some posts coming up. If you like this content, please hit that subscribe button um, and subscribe. Also hit the like button. Any comments you share, I'll try to respond to as quickly as I can. Any questions you may have, let me know. All right. Have a great rest of your weekend, folks.